Hello friends, Lincoln right here. Today, let's have some fun with Gumpla. I'm going to show you some very basic techniques to use Ammo by Miguel and his products through an airbrush to add our primer and our color coats. Okay, let's go. Here's our kit a HG1144 scale Gundam Asteroth before paint and after. And today I will show you how I sprayed the primer and acrylic base colors through my airbrush. First, let's use one shot primer gray. Now I don't do anything special. I am pouring it directly into my airbrush with no mixing or other additive. I test a few lines on a medium setting, say about 20 PSI, maybe a little bit less. It looks good, so now I'm testing it straight onto some plastic. I always start my spray on a part of the model that won't be so obvious, just in case my paint or airbrush are not working properly. In this case, no problem at all. So I continue on quickly. This is my first time to use one shot primer and I'm quite impressed with the results. You can see up close that it goes on very smoothly and very evenly. Now with some confidence I will start moving on to some of the key important details of the model. For this Astaroth he's got this really cool arm guard. You can see I'm making small circular motion with my airbrush so the paint doesn't settle in just one spot at any time. I keep it moving to make a nice, even, gentle coat of paint onto the plastic. I'm most impressed with this one-shot primer. As the spray job went on, I started spraying it faster and faster and heavier, and it actually goes on just like a lacquer paint. Here you can see I am spraying quite fast and quite heavily, and it self-levels and produces a very nice, even coat quite quickly. I really enjoyed this part of my process. Next, I really wanted to try One Shot Primer Black and use it as a base coat for some of the accessory weapons on this Gumpla. Black is a very good choice for following up with metallic dry brushing. It's fast and easy and produces a cool effect in a very short time. Here you can see it's a good idea to put your pieces onto a stick or holder with a clip on the end so that you can spin them around under your airbrush. It helps to get an even coat in one try. After allowing our primer coat to dry for 24 hours, we will apply our main color, cold gray. This is the first time for me to airbrush these paints. I'm going to try it without any thinner, neat from the bottle. I was a little bit nervous, but it looks like I didn't need to be. These paints go on very nicely through the airbrush. I've airbrushed acrylics before, but these went on and had a higher opacity and a really nice glossiness to them that I think will look cool on Gundam. If there's one thing I can share from my experiment, next time I would go a little bit easier and use thinner coats. But I was a little bit excited and I wanted to see how quickly these would work and uh, they still work very nicely, but next time, yes, I will use more thinner coats. Next, we will use medium blue. And this time, I want to put a couple of drops of acrylic thinner in before the paint to see how it changes the performance. Oh yes, always remember to give your paints a very good shake before putting them into your airbrush. This will make sure the paint is mixed thoroughly and it will give you the correct performance for the design of the paint. You can see that I'm not a drop counting type of guy, but somehow, yes, two more drops. Now it's the exact amount of paint I need. After a very quick test on paper, I think the mix with a slight amount of acrylic in it goes on very smoothly. So the blue is probably the best on my model this time. I don't think it's 100% necessary for everybody, but for heavy-handed airbrushes like me, it makes the paint quite forgiving. So thank you for that, Ammo. Lastly, our red color. You can see there's a little bit of blue. I put water through my airbrush, but this red is very, very powerful. And there, boom, it comes out red. 
It's very important to clean our airbrush at the end, but when changing colors, I like to be a little bit loose to keep my creativity moving quickly. You can see I probably painted this a little bit too fast again. I get very excited and I want to see my Gumpla ready, but the ammo paints were reasonably forgiving and they went on smoothly and cleanly. You can see that red is very strong and bright. Okay, finally, my favorite part of the model painting process, cleaning my airbrush. <laughs> no, I'm joking. I don't like cleaning it, but this time it wasn't so bad. Usually if I use lacquer paints, I need to use nasty, really bad smelling chemicals. This time, cleaning up these acrylic paints was actually quite easy. I used the Ammo by Migyemenez cleaner. I put a soft brush into my cup here. I gently used the brush to clean up any spots that remain on the lip and outside edge of the airbrush. And it's clean. I tipped the cleaner out and then with some clean tap water, I run it through the airbrush to make sure that there's nothing left inside. And then using my kitchen paper, I test the color to see if any of the previous colors I've been airbrushing are left. If it's just water coming out, I'm pretty confident and happy that my airbrush is clean. And thank you very much, we're done. I hope you enjoyed making Gumpla with me today. Please subscribe to the Ammo channel and let's make another one soon. Maybe do some weathering. Thanks guys, see you soon, bye.